Greetings and welcome back to Northern Ice Cats World True Yell. Um, some things have happened and happened since the last episode. Um, basically, what happened is an Enderman came by and took a block of mine. Those bastards. But anyways, what happened is I actually built the second part to this uh, house of mine, my new house, the foyer essentially. And um, I had it all recorded. And I came to realize I didn't have any commentary or anything for it. Um, I just deleted it. I'd figure I'd show you what I did instead. Um, you know, as you can see, I uh, put in glass. I decided I was going to go with half slabs here because um, in my creative world, I was having trouble with mobs spawning in here. And I don't want any creepers or anything spawning in here. So from each wall, I just filled it in with half, sla half slabs instead. So I did change the design of my house a little bit. It shouldn't be too much of a deal, though. Well, it shouldn't affect too much, you know. Um, I'll probably put some of my stuff, like in my kitchen, which is right behind here, up on uh, smooth stone or some other form of um, good-looking block, you know, to make it look like it's sitting up there. I also have to tear that out to put some designs in and whatever else. Ugh, sorry. It is a morning. I'm not too much of a morning person, but... Um, as you can see, I filled it all in with half slabs and all that. It's looking good. Just need to do some of the detail work. And that's what I'm going to be doing in this episode. I'm going to get, um, well, basically the stairs going to the second floor going on over here. I'm going to get the lighting in and, um, you know, some of the minor things like some of the lighting here and whatnot. But that's what I'm going to be doing, just little piddly stuff. So uh, I'll be back when I have the materials I need. I'm back with some half slabs. For the stairs running into the second story, I'm going to be using dark oak wood slabs and oak wood slabs. Um, I need to make sure I have my sand on me. Here we go. Oh, me. Wow. Basically, I'm going to pile up to over here, kind of. Um, that's where I'm heading. That should be good. Uh, the doorway, not too sure on. I have to go check my creative world quick and I'll be right back. Taking a look at my design world, um, the door is actually situated right above this opening here. And um, the half slabs in that start at one level above um, this half slab half slab level, it basically, they basically start at the level of full block, so that way the count is a full block. Um, I'm going to go one down, just so that way mobs won't spawn and stuff, but that should be good there. Uh, I'm going to take all the sand down though. It's going to come out here. Let me think for a second, how is that going to work? That's up there, and then the door's there. Yeah, it will work. Um, I'm going to have a piece of smooth stone here, though. I'm not going to put it in yet. Then we go... So that should be three, I believe, and then should come out one more here, and obviously one more there. But I need to come around to the back side to do that. I can hit it here. What's that? No. There it is. Oh, I saw you. Oh, see that. There it is. There it is. That was more trouble than what it was worth. But, um, then it comes out one more. So, like so. The dark oak is going to come down. Um, it's just going to create stairs all the way down to here. So, I'll be back when that is done. The stairs are pretty much done. Uh, I just need to get this one bottom step done. 
but that won't be much of a problem. I'm thinking of a way to work around it to make it so um, it's lighted and whatnot. Because I'll probably have like a bottom landing with some cool design and whatnot. So uh, I'll get to that later. I don't have that in my creative world, but you know I'll probably do it here because I did change these half slabs in my creative world. Uh, all of these are actually one level up. So um, that's obviously one little difference. So from there, I believe lighting or a little bit of decoration there. Yeah, we'll save the, well, we'll do the lighting. That shouldn't be too bad. So I'll get my resources together and I'll meet you back here. I have the materials now that I need to complete the lighting. Um, thinking of where to start here. Because I'm actually going to move it over two spaces, so it's going to start along this row. Is that? No. Because in my creative world, it starts along this row. So it'll be one space, maybe even two spaces right here. Um, I do want to keep it farther that way, though, so that way it actually lights a lot of that part up. But I did come back. No mobs were spawned in here, so that's good news. Although I haven't seen at night how many mobs spawn in here. I guess we'll find out. You know, once it's good and enclosed and whatnot. So I'll get on with that. But first things first, you know, we're going to need to pile up here. Um, we're starting along this one. Obviously, you know, I have to place some sand down. You want to place it a little ways away from where you're building. And if it's eight by, it's an eight by eight structure. So, what I should really do first is count here, see how many blocks there are. So from there to there, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12. So 12, that means there's going to be four extra, which means two on each side. So I have to be two blocks away on each side. careful mode so you know that's one two so first one will be there uh, these come down two get rid of the sand now may have taken too much out but it's all right I do need a way to get back up there reach it yep one two so that'll be one two down <clears throat> um, right can push that aside for now what I need then are the oak planks actually there's one thing that I did forget to grab not big of a deal but there we go now I should have everything but um We'll pile up there. So where we are. So I need to be along this one here. So I suppose being one back won't be a problem. This is going to be oak planks. And they're going to go in between our little uh, oak wood posts there. That's looking appropriate. And the half slabs go there. And I have to dig out some of the quartz, I believe. I'll have to look at it a little more. But um, I'll get it to this point on all four sides of it. And I'll move on from there. So I'll see you then when I have, you know, all four sides done, like this is. So. I have just completed uh, what I said I would, so I got all four sides done. It's going to be the base for our structure pretty much. Um, so we're going to start to work on the inside so that way I can get 
uh, on top and inside of it to actually work on the redstone. So that's going to require stone half slabs. If I can stay up here. I'll actually pile up on uh, be a good spot, probably here. That way I get it close enough to everything. And they should be right, no, that's not what I said. Should be here. No. And then here, and here, here. That one first. That one, there's that. All I have to do is put the glass in, and I'll be jumping around to the top. So, glass goes here. <clears throat> Collect my stuff up. There we go. And that's going to be the inside of it. Uh, I'm going to have sewn half slabs around the outside too, but I'll get to that later. That's one of the final details. So, I'll see you on top of my structure here, my new building. So. I just got to the top. Um, the funny part is now I have to figure out where it is. Because I didn't punch out holes, now I have to figure out where it is. It shouldn't be too difficult because it's two over from here. So there's one and then two. It should be right here is the edge. Um, well, approximately. So when you look inside, you know, see there's one along the wall. So opening, opening right there. Yep. And then um, from here, it's actually two over, I believe. So one, two, which is right there. So we'll just go to here. And um, I don't necessarily want to fall in completely. So yeah, that was actually really good. Um, dig this out. <clears throat> All right, there's that. Move the glass and move the sand. Well, I'll keep the sand. But I do need my redstone lamps. So they're going there. And I need more room to work, so these are coming down. I wonder where the torches are. So the torch in relation is right there. Alright. I'll figure out where my torches are supposed to go when I'm done here. If it becomes night, I'm going to work through the night too, but there shouldn't be much of a need for that. Um, so, next thing, one of the other things I have to do is actually open this up. Because I'm going to have light shining through the sides here. There we go. I really want to jump down and grab those right away so they don't despawn. Being quartz is very expensive, so I think I'm going to do that quick. Um, yeah, I'll see you uh, back up here in a moment. It won't take me too long. I'm back. Didn't take too long. The sun hasn't even set. It really hasn't moved too far. But um, I did check, and this is correct. But I'm thinking if I want to change it or not, because I might actually take these out instead. So that would mean I need redstone lamps all the way along here, so it'll just be one really huge <clears throat> square. Um, I don't know if I have enough redstone to do that either. I guess we can test on this little bit here. So if I was a place like a torch, so that doesn't light up, but if I was to place that, that does light it up, so um, I think that'll work. I'm actually going to change my design. It'll look better, and it will be better, so um, I'm going to do that. So we're filling this back in. Such as anything, any creative project, you know, um, you are likely to change your mind. So. There 
there's that. And I want to take out these here. Oh god, I want that. I didn't want that. I didn't make, it's not the greatest axe, but it's a decent axe, you know. Uh, it has the best efficiency it can have, so that's really good. It's probably the one that I would want more than anything if I got a single enchantment on it. And um, before I place in the redstone lamps, I'm going to put in some glass because glass is going to be covering up all the redstone lamps as with all of my redstone lighting in this place. You really, ah, I didn't want that. To be careful, I was going to say, because I don't have silk touch to collect any of the misplaced glass. So, there's that. Take it, fill it in, fill it in, and it's filled in. All we have to do is cover this whole thing in redstone, and that really should light everything up. I don't really need to use that much redstone, as you can see, but I'm going to do it anyways. There we go. Um, well, no, we'll get rid of one little piece so we can pile up here. Just put it back in. Um, actually, I did all that wrong. I can do this. I didn't even need to place that. I will place, you know, the quartz back in and all that. I'll light it back up. Come on. Well, you can do it. Oh, God. I'm placing blocks in the wrong place. So there's that. Looks like I only lost one torch, which goes here. It's not too big of a deal. So I'm going to jump down and check out the way it looks. Uh, being nighttime, I'm going to save first and, you know, be a little careful. Let's go take a look. Looks like we're clear. There's that. There are sword ready. Yeah, that looks great. And it's not complete yet because I do have to get the half slabs in, the half stone slabs in there. But as you can see, this is going to look amazing when it's done. So I'll wake up in the morning and I'll uh, finish up with some of these other projects then. I have just woken up. Um, I don't know if there's any nasties around or anything but you know I guess we'll find out later because they're not really going to despawn and I see him I see him you see that right there freaking creeper uh, just to make sure he can't enter I'm actually going to do this quick there now hopefully he'll just walk off and he'll despawn and everything will be all good but I need to put in the half slabs but uh, first things first, I should really grab my smooth stone. That should now be done. I'll turn all of that into stone half slabs. In case you don't have any idea of how to make half slabs out of any material, it's really simple. You take whatever base material you want, you split it up into three sections. And you place it, you know, it could be on this row or this row. But I always place it on the bottom row, it doesn't matter. And uh, you get your slabs. So there's some slabs. I'm just going to do this until I run out of stone to use. I take that back. I'm keeping this stone because I need to use it for decoration. But we definitely add enough uh, stone slabs for what I want to do for this little portion of the video. He should be despawned by now. We'll take it down. Oh, there he is. Come here, you little bastard. No, no. Best way to attack him 
is to actually run at them because it knocks them back. So if you don't have knockback on your sword, I know I didn't do it there, but um, if you notice when you hit an enemy with a weapon or some sort of tool or whatever, they do bounce back a little bit. So if you charge at them like that, uh, when you hit them, they do bounce back a little more. Little trick, but um, I wasn't too afraid, you know. Just hoping I'd take care of them pretty well. So, anyways, time to climb up here. From the last little bits, be here. But this is what I'm going to do for this little portion. Um, I'll actually just skip ahead, and when I have all the sides done, I'll show you the complete product. See you then. I'm back, and it is complete. As you can see, it is looking wonderful. <clears throat> In case you're having trouble coming up with such things to build like this, one of the key um, features of actually making things look good is to uh, work with half slabs instead. Not necessarily half slabs for the whole build, but you know, you could take like a full block and then you add half slabs in to make it look like, you know, uh, there's a little bit of depth to it. And it makes it look really nice. <clears throat> I really wish I could shrink it down a bit, but you know, uh, Minecraft one meter by one meter blocks, that's all you have to work with, so. Looks good for what it is. Um, next on the list is right over here though. Need to dig this out a little bit. Uh, the glass is right here, so the redstone is on that block, and then the redstone torch. So same thing over here, redstone, redstone torch. Uh, I'll have to fill that in. That's really sad. But anyways, this goes here. We'll do the same thing on the other side. This goes here. And then, uh, I don't need to head over there right away. But uh, we need our redstone lamp. That's going to go here. And here. Take our glass. Put it there. And there. And that's going to be our lighting for that little section there. Uh, we have to do the same thing over here, though. I really love that there's a cave below me. So that's redstone lamp and then the redstone torch. Take our torch, put it down there, <clears throat> and it goes there. Take our lamp, goes on top of the torch, on top of the torch. Put our glass in. And that should be the lighting for this area. I may have to add some more down here. Uh, I'm going to revise my um, build a little more so that way, um, you know, it's uh, a little more lit up. Because I really hate when mobs spawn where they're not supposed to. But, anyways, uh, these half slabs. Going to go here and here. And that's the design for that. Kind of follows that over there. And this one does the same kind of thing, but this will be difficult because I actually have to do this all the way up. I'm going to take this to the top there. Uh, so I'm going to have to climb up as I go. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a hassle. I can reach that. Yep. Close there and then close there. Now for this part here, it's actually going to be one up like this. So it's basically just going to be this all the way up. Um, you know, there isn't too much to do, but I'll cut ahead and show you it when it's done. I've just taken down my, whatever you call it, the scaffolding, sand scaffolding, and here's what I've done. 
So it looks pretty good. One of the other things too is on the outside. I won't get to this yet, but um, I need to put in some clay here. I'm going to have um, birch fence posts going all the way over this. It's just a little detail that makes it look really nice. I um, think this is going to be it for this video though, because I got all the lighting in that I need to. I got the stairway going up to the top. Um, it's all done. Although I do need to get this in. I'll have to think about it a little more. I may just do um, smooth stone is what I was thinking, smooth stone there, and then have little like uh, redstone lamps essentially on the corners. It really shouldn't look too bad, that should look pretty good. Um, but as for now, you can see the sun's going down, and I've completed everything I really need to, so I'll see you in the next episode. See you then. Bye.